got the overall. Jet Lawrence was a blast to watch on his 250F in a C of 450, so I expect things to be a little different for Jet Lawrence and Heft and the rest of the game. They're gonna have to, I think the championship's gonna run right through the number 49. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one to beat here. Jet Lawrence is definitely somebody who's got the uh, pace here. We watched him with some nice style down the hill in front of us, so we'll see if we can get that whole shot. Because in this field, that is gonna really be key. He has got a lot of fast guys trying to take that spot away from him. The two car turns to one, it's gonna go sideways. And These here we go. Pretty much straight up on the bike. They're not all hunched for it until they hit the dirt. Number 13 of Tyson Johnson with the definitive 100,000% hole shot. Holy cow. Great start there for that young man. And So Tyson Johnson with the whole shot, the 310 Kyle Yellow second down the hill. On the 127, that is Braden O'Neill running third down the hill, followed by the 141 of Wageman and the 122 of Carson Mumford. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got a red bike and he's got a black jersey and he's about 12th spot. Uh, Mumford, I believe, went down. White helmet picking the motorcycle up. If that is, in fact, him. Not a good start at all for Jet Lawrence. He was buried. Wageman was up there in about the top three or so, the 141, I believe. Yeah, Robbie was fourth down the hill and uh, was closing in on O'Neill. Yep. Mumford was fifth, so some of the players are in the mix early on, and dudes are making moves early in those lefts and rights. Honda's running one, two. That may be Mumford in the number two spot now. We caught him as going down. We couldn't quite see. He's going around and moving into the number one spot. Yeah, charging that outside line through the Jeremy's pad tree turn. Not feeling his performance yesterday. He was not stoked on that. So now he is ready to redeem himself with a good start with a even playing field of 250s. It makes things different, man. You find yourself battling with guys that can just outrun you up to the top of the hill. Yeah, I'll break them, and then they just outrun you to the next turn. It's yep. tough to do. So how about it for the California kid, Carson Mumford? 122. Here we go. Have a day, kid. Tyson, or the three, is that 200? That's Kyle Yellow in the second spot now. Oh, there you go. And holy cow, Jet Lawrence up to fifth. He was in 12th place or so. Jet Lawrence now up to the number five spot. So I have a feeling he is going to run into his teammate at some point during this race. Lawrence just crafty with the passes. Carson Mumford. Just letting it all hang out right now. Justin Heft closing up on Aiello in that battle for second. So down the hill we go with the Amsoil Honda ride. Carson Mumford, Aiello, Heft, charging in third. Wageman, here, Lawrence, Richard Taylor, Colvin. And Justin Heft left Kyle Aiello no room at the bottom of the hill. He just hammered him to the outside of the berm and took the spot away. And look at Carson Mumford go. He is absolutely head down, sprinting away from the field. Kyle and Justin Heff kind of slugging it out, and that's helping your leader, Carson Mumford. You could see he was frustrated yesterday. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for Carson Mumford to put yesterday's moto behind him. Yeah, like I said, though, that 250F in a field of 450s, you're going to end up doing a lot more work than you normally would. So Justin Heff makes his way to second, and we've got a battle going on for third. Yep, Aiello and Jet Lawrence. And look at Mumford all the way up into the turn that leads you into the Mammoth Freeway. He is really throwing down some good laps. We're probably going to go about 10 laps in this moto, one has to assume. He gets his choice of the great lines. Carson Mumford just feeling himself right now. Heft, and there goes Lawrence into the number three spot. He has got the sprint to the finish line tabletop, and he does. All right, looks like Lawrence gonna set his sights quickly on the second place ride of Justin Heft. And that's gonna be a good battle for that second place spot. That's gonna give an advantage to Carson Mumford, though. He doesn't have anybody bothering him out front right nope. now. Climbing up to the top of Mammoth Mountain. Lawrence tucking in behind Heft. 
silky smooth and full of style here. See what Lawrence is cooking up for Justin Heff. Heff uses that inside. Lawrence on the outside, cutting back under. Heff's going to close sick. up. He can fill in there on the inside. Heft on the blue Yamaha. Lawrence tucked in on the red Honda, the 49, the black gear. Different lines now. Feet on the pegs for Lawrence. And that's the battle right there. A 2.01 lap time for your leader and 2.04s for everybody else. Carson Mumford, three seconds quicker than those guys slugging it out with each other. There's Mumford into the right-hander. Brings along second and third. Heff still there in th second. Jet Lawrence trying to jump past him on the outside. Going well, the long way up to the left. Couldn't quite make it stick. That was a hey, here I am move, just to let you know. Yeah, he's got to go alternate lines here. There's no way Heff is going to get him the inside. Into the Mammoth three-way we go. Six-second lead for Carson Mumford. And Amzol sandwich for Heft. Mumford just head down, doing his thing. Look at Carson Mumford put down the quick lap times. This is exactly what Mumford needs. You guys battle it out. I'll do my thing out here in the number one spot. And this is exactly the confidence builder Carson needs to. He's been working hard this year. And uh, he would sure love to come away with a big bear, so we'll see if he can make that happen. Doing the right thing right now. Oh, a little bit of a problem there. I thought Heft was going to go down the rear end, stepped out. And Lawrence sees blood in the water. Bumper with a two-minute flat. Heft and Lawrence with 2.01, so they bring their lap times three seconds down. Again, different lines here. Heft and Lawrence. Flirting with that inside move. It's a risky one. Robbie Wageman up to fourth. Looks like the 44. Rich Taylor rounding out the top five here. And Mumford has opened it up to seven seconds. Over Heft and Jet Lawrence. So an outstanding ride for Carson Mumford here in the first mode of the 250 Pro Class. This is the Carson Mumford we remember from a couple of years ago. Yeah, he's made the move to the big bikes. He's had some success. He's had some struggles. But this is exactly the race he's looking for. And Justin Heft continues to hold Lawrence behind him. We'll see for how long. Wow, again, they race into that Jeremy's pad turn. What a battle we have cooking up at the number two spot. Jet Lawrence getting a little impatient now. Into that mammoth three way we go. Inside, outside, backing it in like a flat tracker that time. And Carson Mumford just again, head down business like, folks. Jet Lawrence is going to have to push the issue, apparently. He knows it now. Yeah, he's going to run out of time if he doesn't make something happen quickly. He's played Mumford's nicely a few times. He's went around inside, outside. This may happen right here, coming up in the mechanics area. But Heft is so crafty at just being stingy with the great lines. Yeah, he's really making Jet go everywhere he doesn't want to go. Jet's just going to have to follow him through and then just be assertive at this point. Here they go. They're going to race up to the top of Mammoth Mountain. Carson Mumper says, you guys do all that. That's cool. I'll catch it on the Insider MX replay. And here they come. Heft again. Lawrence is close. They are bringing the heat down that hill. So 6.4 seconds now. The riders in second, third have carved off a second from Mumford's lead. In fact, Heft has just dug in and pulled away a little bit from Jet Lawrence. He's holding them off and actually starting to pull away a little bit. Four laps in. This will be the halfway point. We're going 10. Six point four seconds here 
deficit between Carson Mumford and Justin Hepp. Everybody running a 201. Fastest rider that time around, though, was Jet Lawrence with a two minute flat lap time. And, and again, he's Jet Lawrence again. has reeled in. Justin Hepp making some charge, making a charge. Two rights and a left will lead you right to the Mammoth Freeway. Lawrence pulls alongside. He is right there again. Look at him back it in there. That's pure throttle control. It looks like he's messing up, but that's what he wants to do. Sliding that back end around there. That is steering the bike with the throttle. Oh. He's trying to make something happen in that finish line turn, the way that turn has developed, though. They all come in at the same apex. Hard to pass there. And Jet Lawrence trying it again. Really good with that throttle control. See how delicate he is? Oh, well, he got a wheeling on him in that mechanics turn. Couldn't get out of there quick enough. And the crowd loves it. You can hear the oohs and ahs up here right along with us. Everybody just a fan of motocross right now. Carson Mumford at the top of the hill. He'll come down first, 122. Having himself a moto for sure. Here comes Hampton. Jet Lawrence is so close. Oh, they change up lines. I thought for a second Lawrence is going to try to race him down. He's going to squeeze underneath. Oh, he what a it. move by Jet Lawrence. He flirted with that for three laps. Wow, he threaded a needle right there, Don Collins. I'll tell you what, he was confident in his brakes because he came right to oh, the hey, inside. Oh, no, and Hef <laughs> goes right back inside on the front wheel. Hef was thinking of that as soon as this pass was oh, made. Oh, yeah. We ain't making any friends in this one. Wow. We are not done here. Take a breath, Jet Lawrence. And again, Carson Mumford, the benefactor, that pace has pushed the deficit down to five and a half seconds. They have called time off of Carson Mumford's lead. But Carson steady and calm. Here comes Jet Lawrence again. I think the gloves are about to come off. Yeah, we're past the halfway point, so there is no more time. Around the Jeremy's pad turn here. Lawrence has been good in this next left-hander. With all that wheel spin, it's so crafty there. And he wore, oh, there he goes again. The elbows are up. They are side by side. They're scrubbing, get down on the ground first. Sprint to this finish line turn. Oh, and Lawrence goes inside. A crafty move there. Can't make it stick. He's just letting you know, I will, you give me something. I'm going to take everything you give me. That's it. That's a preview of our uh, last lap there. If Lawrence can't get around him, he's going to dive it to the inside there. All right, up and over that tabletop. We're going to switch it up again. And Lawrence makes the pass on Hef. Whoa. Inside, super clean. Wow. Does Hef retaliate? I think he's got a comfortable lead finally. I'll tell you what, Jet Lawrence can put that Honda anywhere he wants on this track. You're absolutely right. Inside, outside. Now, can Carson Mumford keep Jet Lawrence, the surging Jet Lawrence behind him? All right, let's see if Hef has got something down the hill here. No. 202s for the top three. Jet Lawrence wants to just get away from Justin Heff. See if he's got enough time here. We have three laps to go, and Lawrence is going to make about two laps to see where he stands. And if he's close, he's going to take this thing all the way to the checker flag. Carson Muffer now really has to hammer down to keep that push from Jet Lawrence from yeah. catching up. And it looks like Heff's starting to pump up a little bit there as he's starting to lose the pace of Lawrence. Hey, credit to him, man. They were slugging it out. Got to live to fight another day for sure. Oh, yeah. So there is Mumford dropping into that right-hander. You'll see Jet Lawrence here, his teammate, coming in shortly. Those early sprint laps by Carson Mumford are going to pay off now. Yeah, that might be enough to hold him on to. Lawrence is going to charge, but like you said, Carson did work early on, and that could pay off. Mumford getting his choice of lines. Jet Lawrence will as well now. Doesn't have to run those crazy inside lines that he did to get around. Justin Heff. There's Mumford over the finish line. Here comes Lawrence. He's cut into the lead. Still about 5.4 seconds for Mumford. A 201 for Mumford, a 201 for Lawrence. 
And you got to think a cautious mechanic, just let him know, hey, man, don't relax. About two and a half laps now to go. This is lap seven. It's going to take a sub-two-minute lap time for Jet Lawrence to really make a push to catch up with Carson Mumford, who has led this thing. Setting himself up for moto number two, though. Getting himself to second now. Keeps the overall in his hands. It's definitely in play. We'll catch up with the rest of the gang. Half still in third. Robbie Wageman is fourth. Richard Taylor, I was going to say, is in fifth, but Lance Kovish has swept around. They'll flip flop positions. Taylor moves back to the number six spot, seventh spot. Carter Halpain, Kai Aiello is eighth. Kyle Greeson and Tyson Johnson, your early hole shot leader, rounds out your top ten. Well, Kopus was working on Taylor for about three laps. Finally gets him at the bottom of the hill here. So he was running a pretty patient race there. Mumford getting tangled up. So Carson Mumford has the Mammoth Freeway. That is pretty much the deficit. Lap number eight in the books. Mumford again with a 201, so he's strong deep into the moto. Not getting tired. There's Jet Lawrence, his teammate. About 6.7 seconds back. I think Jet knows that's a gap that he might not be able to chop into. Yeah, that, those, early, those first three laps for Mumford were going to be key. Carson Mumford all the way to the top of Mammoth Mountain. And he is, wow, what a turnaround. Like, to have that in the tank, to know you can go this quick after yesterday, I know he was not stoked on his seventh or eighth place finish. Jet Lawrence came through the field, passed him, and that had to just be so frustrating. And now he comes out, gets a great start, throws down a, as quality a lap as anybody else out there. In fact, he was quicker the last few times around the racetrack. So props to Carson Mumford and his effort. Yeah, this is the race he's been looking for for a while now. Should see the white flag this time around for Carson Mumford. And here's Mumford coming down to the Jammies pad tree turn. And work his way towards the Mammoth Freeway. This has to be as satisfying a race win as Carson Mumford has had in a long while. The white flag getting ready to come out. Carson heading into that final turn. One more lap to go. The white flag comes out for Carson Mumford. The 122 has absolutely handled business. So Mumford with the mechanics turn. There is the 49 of Lawrence coming through that big sweeper. So Justin Half fighting a battle with Lawrence there. Those guys duked it out for about five laps. And Hep still hanging on a third. Wageman fourth. And it is the 99 of Kobush rounding out the top five here. Final time around in 250 Pro. And this one did not disappoint, folks. We have had some great races today. First full moto here in the pro class. This one counts. Mumford into those switchbacks. Lawrence following him through one last time. Final moto here. So Carson Mumford working that rhythm section on the right side. And 
And we're looking for Carson Mumford to make his way to the Mammoth Freeway. So Mumford out of the Jeremy's pad, tree turn. And there's a checkered flag race win for the Imsel Factory Connection Honda ride. Carson Mumford with the win. It is going to be the 49er Chet Lawrence hanging on to the second spot there. Justin Hutt third, Robbie Regiman fourth, and looks like Cobras will round out the top five. What a battle for that second spot. And it is going to be time to send it down to the AmeriCorps SMX Victory Podium here, right alongside the Lucas Oil Pavilion. And Gary Young going to get a chance to talk to Carson Mumford, our winner here in 250 Pro Moto 1. Gary, take it away. Thank you very much, Don. Carson Mumford getting his stuff together. That was such an awesome dominating win for Carson Mumford in that pro class. Come on around the other side, bud. Let's go right down to the middle. All right, Carson, congratulations. Tell me about that ride. Well, uh, started off with pulling 30 second gate pick. So I was like, man, this is gonna be a rough one. Then my teammate pulled like 36, I was like, all right, well, that we're, we're equal. So I got a pretty dang good start. My Donald tires were working great. And then uh, I just hold it on really long up the first uphill and uh, came out like maybe six or something. And, uh, you know, I just been kind of having a rough go at this thing. So I was just fired up out there. I uh, was like, I got to get these guys now. Someone tipped over in the back. They put me in like fourth. Then on the first lap, I just uh, made those moves, made them stick was just riding pretty pissed off and uh, just uh, came out with the win. I uh, just rode hard the whole moto. Um, Heft and uh, 49 were catching me and uh, I was just like, don't let it happen, don't let it happen. Just keep pushing and uh, kept pushing and at the end they looked like they were tired and uh, I just kept it wide open the whole moto and just was sending it. All right, I want to thank your sponsors. Amsoil Factory Connection Honda, team manager Shane, uh, my 